luck, brother. Thanks. A little light dusting this morning. A little light dusting of snow. Calm before the storm, before it gets real bad. It's already kind of bad to me. <laughs> it's getting a little <laughs> rough. But we're gonna go out there and see if we can't find some deer. I think we're okay. splitting up this morning. Ted's going to a spot where him and Cole got on some good bucks last time we were here. Old, you would you call him Shaky Graves? Shaky Graves and Jimmy Buffett. Jimmy Buffett. Yeah. Jimmy Buffett. That's who Ted's going to find. Me and Cole are going to a new place we've never been to and hopefully gonna be able to get down the road, one and two, find deer right off the bat and then kill one within 45 minutes and be eating breakfast by 10 o'clock. Sounds good to me, sounds like a plan. Kind of stink now. You know, the clothes, they're all wet yesterday and they're just drying them so they're kind of musty. That'll work. Other than that, that's all I got. Good luck, stay safe. Keep safe, be honest. That's a little more than a dusting, I'd say. Oh yeah. It's a good coat. It's a good, good base layer. It's just going to keep you building from here. I'm just trying to think of different places we can pop into really quick. Right now in glass. This is probably where the new thing's sitting here though. Oh yeah, I think so. Especially when we get the west wind. When we get that west wind, you'll be able to come sit right here and glass all this and probably see quite a few deer on the side. But I'm glad we came in here to look at this just so we know how we need to come in and out and then what it looks like once we get down in here. Probably just as important as even seeing a deer in there, honestly. Just having some sort of knowledge on the area. We're gonna walk back to the truck once so early, go look at another spot that's easy to pop into and just bounce around like that. Just put our eyes on as much as we can, see if there's any deer up and about anywhere else. We don't really have the best wind to try to hunt this right now. More or less just trying to learn about it. Let's go warm our toes up. I'm eating these rich, I don't have any water to wash it down. <laughs> kind of weird the snow's melting a little bit. I mean, how does snow melt when it's 24 degrees? I don't know. It's gonna get crunchy. Yep. It is 342. We've been inside editing all day. This first video from here. Me and Cole finished up our parts. Ted is still working on his. She has the bulk of it. But, all right, we gotta go get a field. Yeah. For just a little bit. I mean, the, the blizzard just came and passed. I mean, everything was hunkered down all day yesterday, seemed like. I bet, because it hadn't snowed at all since I've been up this morning. And I, I guess I just, it said it was gonna snow a good part of the day, but it hadn't. So I'm guessing that these deer have probably been up on their feet a good bit. We're gonna go into a spot that we scouted yesterday morning and uh, we didn't see anything, but it seems like a really good spot to be able to see something. Just standing corn on two sides and a big drainage runs through it. So we're gonna ease out there and see what we can't get into. I feel like we should see some deer, but I don't know. Super appreciative that Ted is the workhorse that he is and he's in there hammering away right now. Uh, I told him he should come with us, but he wants, to, he wants to finish it. So wants to get that video up for you. Me and Cole are gonna go try to collect some more content, hopefully. Pretty red Angus heifer out there. Good, pretty, real good, pretty. Good, good, good red Angus. Didn't get as much snow as they're calling for, which is good. Yeah, I'd say five to six inches. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'd, I'd say that's good. Good for me. You know, I've said every day I feel like the Michelin Man, but today is the first day that I truly feel like the Michelin Man. Nonsense. Wow, my fingertips are cold. Me and Cole just got to this little piece we're gonna walk into. And uh, I don't know what I'm saying. My ears are cold. My toes are dirty. My toe warm, my toes feel good. Ears, ears don't feel good. I mean, I think these things warm up the more you walk on them. Yeah, I feel pretty good. I've got my hand warmers tucked away in a pocket that I can't reach. It's amateur hour, cold weather amateur. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Me and Cole just got here. We're going in, we're going hunting. That's it, that's all there is to it. <laughs> Come with. So I was thinking with these little cuts, 
that are in the edge of this drainage. The way the wind is, a deer could be tucked up in one of those. We haven't seen anything for track. I hadn't seen the first track coming in here. And I was thinking coming in, I'd see be seeing some deer, you know, tucked up along these embankments. I was thinking, or already up moving around. I think we should just pop over those. Because we only got a couple that are on this property that we could actually check. And then uh, I was thinking if nothing comes of that, roll out of here and go to the honey hole and go to the rock pile and glass it with a bow, of course. That buck walked right by it the other day. Do a little hunt scout. How far? Right, Nick. You didn't see us with a shooter. Oh yeah. Is he looking at us? Yeah. There's another one. I was thinking we could possibly slide into the corn and then work our way over there and then just see. Perfect for where they are. Right yeah. See where they are after that. Maybe we can get one of those cuts and get right down to them. Yep. Yeah. Let's do that. I said my fingers got so cold. Here you go like 10 yards and I'll just walk. Second, then I'll looking this way? No, I'm going away. I'm down to deer. Oh, he's I think we can probably get down and just go get as close as we can. Yeah. Honestly, he might be able to just cut that at once. He might come look. Yeah, he's right. She come out. She was acting like she was pushed. It was either it was either a bleat or a grunt, but it was some sort of something there.
steps this way. snow I've ever driven through before. <laughs> Get any more snow, might not be able to go hunt that spot. Or if you do, you have to walk a whole long way. And that wouldn't be too fun in this snow. <laughs> it won't leave me alone. Quan, come here. Come here. Quan's a ferocious one. You need to be in like a spin chair and turn around <laughs> <No>. with a <your> cat. <laughs> Mr. B come Mr. Bigglesworth. Oh, I've been expecting you. So, we, yeah, we had that buck coming in on us. I think he got to like 80 yards before he got up on a high point and he was looking down into this little cut that me and Cole were sitting in and he could tell that there, or he couldn't see a deer there when he knew he should have been able to. So, I don't know, I've been watching the footage over and over and in hindsight I feel like I, one, should have carried the decoy in there and didn't. Two, 
I should have just kept raking on those limbs or something to give him some sort of illusion that there was a buck over there. I don't know, maybe he just would have run off. I would have kept doing that. I don't know. But just a, definitely a lesson learned tonight. I think it's always tough to get him to come into range when there's nothing over there for a visual, but it's fun to, oh, it's always fun when you can get him to turn around and get fired up. When yeah, he's... I mean, if he got fired up, he started pawing at the ground and everything. And, yeah. But it was a tough spot, that much open space. You know, if you don't have a visual and then you got that much open ground for one to be able to look through yeah. and not see another buck over there, is, that's difficult. So we had ourselves in a pretty good spot and it was fun. It was a really cool encounter. That's definitely the closest we've been so far. With the amount of activity we saw in there tonight, I think we're gonna go back in there tomorrow, see what we can get into. Good Hopefully. thing is nothing spooked in there. It doesn't seem like nothing too bad. No, I mean, he wasn't blown out of there. Not didn't seem like to me because he didn't ever see us. Yeah. He just heard a buck and never saw it. So he just did what mature bucks do a lot, I guess, and just scampered on out of there across that bean field. But I don't know. We'll go back in there in the morning and see what we can't get into. We got the spot with all those deer that were in there a couple nights ago, and now this spot that you guys found tonight. What do you think, Quan? What do you think Cole Boots are doing? He's probably sleeping by now. We go check on him. I think we should. You doing alright, Cole Booth? What? You doing alright? Yeah, I'm just getting some sleep. <laughs> <laughs>